Hi everybody, welcome back to another One Piece reaction. And it is a special episode probably because, 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 because it is episode 1100. Can you believe that? It's 1100 guys. I wouldn't ever think that I would love a series that would happen to have 1100 episodes. <laughs> anyway. Atlas is down. Luffy is about to get angry. I think and I hope that he or we're going to see Gear 5 Luffy here. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the intro because I just want to dive right in. So this is Rob Lucci versus Luffy. Part 2? I'm hoping it's going to be crazy and insane. Yeah, I think that is episode title then. <laughs> Luffy vs. Luchi. Oh, yo. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen this mofo. I mean, is it just me? Or like... I mean, everyone does hate Akainu, right? I mean, he's one of the... like. Well written villains, though. Luchi's full of himself. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Straw hats are gonna be a force. I mean, they're already a force to be recommended anyway. Oh, shit! Oh, I feel like. The animation is gonna be crazy this episode. Ah! Oh, he's not gonna go with you guys. Even the whole feel, like the colorization of what's happening now is much more dramatic. I mean, I believe everyone can see the reds, right? Okay, here we go! Oh! 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 <laughs> I'm back frames! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I didn't get that, but okay. Oh, his art style. Art style changed. Yep. Oh. Oh, let's go, Luffy. Is it just me or I've never seen Luffy move like that? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, this is the first time that they're going to be battling out with hockey. Oh! Dude, the fight choreography in One Piece is leveling up. Are you seriously? Oh, shiz. <laughs> Is he seriously asking about that? Oh, you want a taste of that, hey? Oh, oh. oh shit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going crazy right now. He can forcefully go. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe that he can forcefully 
drive gear five already. Oh shit! The hockey burst. Like, can we call it a like, hockey burst? Oh shit! Oh, Luchi's about to. Oh, we got excited. What is this? I can't. I don't, I don't want to pause. Oh yeah, this is their first time seeing to me. Oh my god, Jinbei knows about it. Oh shit! Oh, that's my thumbnail. Oh my gosh. Oh, fudge. Oh, frick. I, this is good. Oh, this is hype. <laughs> oh, I love the Luffy tune soundtrack and like sound effects. <laughs> Oh, Vegapunk knows. Vegapunk knows. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, the way he walks, how they animated that. How are we going to cut this video? That is menacing! Does like the veil means awaken? Why does... Oh shit. Ah! <laughs> See even Luchi has the veil too. Does that mean that he's... Oh, oh yeah okay. Thank you. Whoo! Oh man the animation is. Who's, gonna, who's the director of this episode? Holy shoes. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Shoes! Oh my gosh, the art style. No, he's just having fun, y'all. It doesn't look like a fight to him, too. Oh, he knows. Oh, shoot. I'm having goosebumps, you guys. Holy shit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, shit. Oh, Straw has about to, like, find out. Like, I'm... Dude, I'm... <laughs> I'm so emotional. I'm so emotional. Robin is about to find out that this is Joy Boy. Oh, <laughs> Sun Guy! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I can't stop having goosebumps. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. All things are brought into this world. Oh, shiz. So the powers that they yearn for, or the people yearn for, that's what. Oh my god. Why 
What the heck, man? Oh my gosh. So. Oh my god. Oh shit, Oda. <sighs> He's already a captain. Damn. Oh my gosh. He's going. Is he gonna side with us or? <laughs> yeah, whatever he decides, you. I mean, you should definitely pay him back. I mean, he's technically your dad, if that's the case. Yep. Oh, I love a snake. Oh, if he has authority with, um, if he has authority of S there, then. Oh my goodness! Oh, Centomero over CP0! Shiz! Oh, yeah, goodbye. Overrides. What if? Oh, shoes. Oh, I love what they're doing here. Who is the director for this episode? This is insane. Yeah, he's a he's a dick. Sorry. Just because he's so like that, I don't know, he's so that high up. He's that high up. He didn't think think ahead. Yeah. Fudge. I mean Dude, you're on the island of the most, or yeah, the most intelligent person in the world, in your world, and you didn't even think ahead, or if you did, you, you didn't even think that he has backup against you, or he he has something under his sleeve against you. What the heck? That's pretty stupid of you guys, you know. Like, even though that he's. A dog of the government. For sure, if something happens, he has like a plan. Oh! Oh, shoes. Oh, my God, no. Oh, my God, we just met him. To immediately cut him down like that. Fucking love him. I like some Tomaru. No. What? Sugar. Oh, don't tell me he's going to. Are we going to cut it here? No! Oh! Oh shit, just got real.
Okay, as I thought, or as we thought, episode 1100 is insanity. I mean, every time that an episode of One Piece reached or reaches 100, you know it's gonna be amazing. Uh, and it, they, I don't know, man. I feel like, yeah, I think one of the reasons the pacing last episode is like <laughs> stressing or frustrating it's because of this we were meant to be given this such a good episode dude um yeah can we like always oh, start at the beginning where we saw again akainu i mean personally i think akainu is such a well-written villain i hate him to down to his bone but He's really a great villain. I mean, who am I kidding? Basically, if you think about it, or if we think about it, Luchi or CP0 um, made it worse for the um, for the government. <laughs> because knowing that Luffy and the Straw Hats are there, especially that they're already... Um, Luffy is already an emperor re- level. Um, they shouldn't have like charged right into them but again since Luffy is Rob Lucci's or since Rob Lucci is one of our you know opponents even before Luffy became a emperor or an emperor I think he thought that he could take on Luffy and it's not gonna be um, that hard to beat or he's not gonna be that hard to beat so yeah i guess he was just full of himself, full of himself right <laughs> oh yeah i love the fact that rob lucci straight up asked about luffy's poster so i wasn't really sure how luffy is going to use gear 5 and here in this episode we like we get to see that before or um we get to see that without activating all the other gears that we know, he's immediately straight activated gear fifth. Like, I'm actually happy that the straw hats or the other straw hats um, finally get to see how Luffy beat Kaido. Like, I think yeah, the only the only straw hat that um saw Luffy in that form is probably Chopper and Nami. If I remember right in Wano. So yeah, seeing the other straw hat's reaction to the form of Gear 5 Luffy <laughs> is Oh, I'm really happy. Like I am so happy and I'm so excited. Especially Robin. Because this is a glimpse of what happened in a world century, I think. And the fact that Vegapunk it like explained how devil fruits are created are formed dude that's like a piece of information that i never expected that we would get um dude i mean episode 1100 ah uh, shoot is yeah it is insanity the animation the changes in art style oh how smooth how crisp everything was even like the simple walk of Luchi, how he's transformed, everything was top tier, everything was S tier. <sighs> and then like uh the, the reveals. I I never expected that kind of reveal to be honest. Yeah, like devil fruits formed or or basically manifested from humans or the people's desires of wanting to be something that they're not or wanting to have the powers that they wish to have like even though like like for example maybe i wanted to like experience or um have this certain sort of power or like wanted to be able to do this and some other people get to you know experience or like get those powers that's insane <laughs> that's a lot i hope that actually i hope that um we get more information regarding that in the future 
and how or where does this or these devil fruits manifest like is there a specific place and they're just you know just spread out through the sea like after they manifest all of those fruits like you know just fall into the sea and whoever gets them you know like finders keepers kind of thing you get to enjoy them and study how we use them or how they use them dude th- this episode is insane and can i ex- can i mention that Sentomaru? i'm so happy that we get to see Sentomaru. i'm uh, i love Sentomaru. i love the fact i love him way back shabandi i this is not shabandi arc anymore but before fishman island arc where in the reunion after the time skip i mean basically the time skip um we get to see his oh we get to see him see luffy and acknowledge luffy that he grew stronger and i love the fact that he was the one who confirmed that the fake straw hats were imposters so i love how he's I don't know. He acknowledges Luffy probably. And yeah, Luffy was definitely right when he saw him in Shabandi say that I get the feeling that you know, um, I'll see you again and we have it you have him here in Egghead Island. And then another ref- a reveal that Sentomaru was rescued by Vegapunk, basically making Vegapunk as his adoptive father maybe. So, yeah, Paul Sentomaru is one of our allies now, I guess. I'm just sad that Rob Lucci immediately cut him down while he was like catching up with Luffy. I hate that, but dude, everything is going at a faster pace than I anticipated. <laughs> but I love it. I'm all for it. Yeah. A lot of things happen here in this episode and I don't know if I miss anything. So please let me know in the comments because insanity i would definitely re- they are, i'm going to re-watch this episode again after edits just gonna enjoy it and like yeah let me know yeah oh guys let me go let me know if who's the director for this episode i feel like it's, it's not maybe Shitani, but i really want to comment the director who animated this episode because it is art style changes the fighting choreography too oh my goodness i forgot about to mention that um i never expected to um goofy to look like that it's all about like it has always been um more on fists with goofy if i remember right he only seldom uses his feet but the way he like moved earlier with the the Bye.